The last thing we need to do is to set up the game with a portal that will take it to the next level. So first of all, to set up a next level, we've got to make a new room. So we make a new room. That's room number one. We don't have to put anything on it just yet. So we'll just leave that there. That'll be OK. So there's room one. Now, room zero is the one we're talking about. We're going to have to add a couple more um, sprites and objects. So we have a look at sprite. We've got these three sprites here. We'll need to add some more. So we're going to have a look at sprite. We're going to load a sprite. Um, and um, some places in oh, there we go. Uh, game on. All right, so. This is what we're looking for, um, and we're going to have a look in, um, I think it is in 5, uh, we're looking in sprites. Okay, uh, we need to add this box sprite, so we go to pack 2, which is in um, sprite, which is in the RESO21 in the um, files that I've shared with you. So go to sprites, go to pack 2, and we're looking for a box. Here they are here. So we select this one and open it and we get this one here now what we've actually done <coughs> is we've gone into here into the sprite editor and we've done the transform first thing we did was resize the canvas and double it we put 200 in here that was the first thing we did then the second thing we did is transfer scale and double and what that did was uh, make the box twice as big Okay, we're not going to do anything with that. No, we don't. So I've got our box twice as big as it was originally. Okay. Um, the other thing we need to do is a uh, that that's our um, our uh, sorry that's our um, object that will block the way. We want one then that's going to have a collision with it, and that's going to allow um, our uh, object to then proceed to the next level or the next room. So we need to add another sprite um, and it needs to be oh, maybe a little flag or something like that. Actually I didn't look in here, let's have a look. Flag. Mm, can be anything you like really. Okay, we might um, have a book, and that's going to be our portal to the next room. So we now we need to make objects of these. So it's going to be our obj underscore box. It needs to be solid, because it's okay. And also we need to add um, a. Oops, we forgot to put the the box on it. There we go. So that's the box. And then we also needed to add um, an OBJ book. And we need to add the book. Which we a bit naughty, we didn't put book on that one. Um, we're going to 
gonna change we're gonna uh till it stop that no let's just do this one properly s p r underscore book okay and then we can make the object i'm going to call that object book and it's going to have the book sprite yep and it's going to be solid great so there we have it we've got a book object and a box object now okay so now we open our room zero we're going to put our box object just here and I'll show you how it works so we go to objects we go to box object I mean I pop it right there and see how it blocks the way and then what we're going to do is get our um, object book there we go and we're going to put our book here oops so our box is blocking the way to the book. Now, with the box, we can't let the cat get past the box. So what we need to do is to... Um, actually, we don't have to do anything because the um, box is solid. But we do have to say, and when we tick that, that when the cat collides with the box so at an event a collision when the box uh, when the cat collides with the box okay it's just like the wall it stops and bounces off so in other words the cat cannot get past the box it just bounces off it the other thing is is with the um, collision at event and collision with the book now the box needs to be out of the way and we'll show you how to do that in a minute when it collides with the book it's got to go to the next room and in fact it goes to the next room and that means it'll go to the next level once it touches the book okay now how do we get rid of the box that's the that's the um, mystery isn't it well not really because what we're going to do is we're going to count the number of birds on here and when the birds on actually on the screen are zero the box disappears but how do we do that well let's have a look the way we do that is we go to cat again because that's going to be the one thing that's wandering around we add an event. This time we're going to add a bit of a different event. It's going to be a step event. Now what step means is um, there's about 15 steps per second each step of the program and when you put a step event effectively that means that checks that 15 times a second. So it's it's checking it constantly to see if something is happening. So that's the event. What do we want to happen? Well we want to count the number of um, birds that are there. So let's have a look. So we can test an instance count. In other words, if the number of instances is a value. So the first thing is we're checking the number of birds. So we get our object bird. If the number, and we're going to put is we're going to do it this a bit smarter if it's less than one smaller than one if it's smaller than one in other words if it's zero then we wanted to do something and what would you want to do we want to get rid of that box so how do we do that so if the number of we'll do this again if the number of birds is less than one in other words if there's zero you could also put zero and equal to I like to do smaller than one so if there's any errors in it it just means that um, if there's less than one it'll happen and we want to get rid of the box we want to destroy the instance 
which one? We want to destroy the instance of the box. So, in other words, what should happen now is when we whiz around with our cat, catching all the birds, once all the birds have disappeared, the box will disappear. Let's see if this works. Save it first. Let's go through. Alright, off we go with our cat. Okay, I didn't want to bore you with waiting for all the birds to go, so I've got rid of most of the birds. We've got two left. So let's see what happens when the last two disappear. Here's our... I don't know if I can get by that without nicking the bird off. Now you see the cat won't go past that box. I'm, try I'm pushing it using the up key and it won't go past. So I'm blocked. But if I do this... <coughs> ah, you see what happened? The last bird disappeared and the box disappeared. So now I go and off I go to the next room. And that's the next level. I haven't done anything in there yet, but you'll need to put another maze. All right, well, that's how to get your maze game working. Good luck with that, and we'll see how you go.